What's going on guys, I'm Zulushi, and today I'm going to show you how to get better FPS in Fortnite. Right now my game's the best it's ever felt and I'm playing on super stable FPS and low input delay. Obviously, depending on your PC specs, you won't see the exact same numbers as mine, but the tweaks I'm showing today will help improve your game's performance regardless. Alright, let's get right into it. Starting off with some tweaks inside of Fortnite, if you guys want the absolute best game performance, you need to be using performance mode. Right now I'm in DX12 and I'm getting around 2 to 2.3 milliseconds of input delay and around 700 or 800 FPS. I'm going to switch to performance mode and see the difference. Alright, so I switched over to performance mode and I'm using high meshes. Now I'm getting around 1.3 milliseconds of input delay and around 1100 to 1200 FPS. Pretty big difference. If you want the best of the best, you have to turn those meshes on to low. Uh, here come the mobile builds. Now I'm using low meshes and the numbers are pretty much the same. I'm getting around 1.3 milliseconds of input delay and around 1100 FPS, but you can feel a huge difference when you're cranking and triple editing. If you can get used to the funny looking textures, using low meshes is definitely the way to go. Now let's go over some Windows tweaks. Go to your search bar and type in gaming, click game mode settings, make sure you have game mode on, then click Xbox game bar, and make sure you have Xbox game bar off. Next, go to your search bar again and type in background apps. It should pop up, click it, and you can press this button to turn off all of the background apps at once, or you can select which ones you want to have running. Basically, you want to have the least amount of apps running in the background when you're playing to get the best performance. Next, go back to your search bar and type in notifications, click notifications and action settings, and you want to make sure you have all of your notifications turned off. Now go back to your search bar and type in choose a power plan, it should pop up, and you can try switching in between balanced, high performance, and ultimate performance to see how it affects your game. The balanced power plan is recommended for my CPU, so I'm sticking with that. Now open up Task Manager and click the Startup tab. This lists all the apps that start up when your computer starts up, so go ahead and disable all of the apps that you don't need running in the background. If you use Discord, you need to do this step. Under Advanced Settings in Discord, make sure you have Hardware Acceleration turned off. Basically, when this is enabled, it lets your GPU speed up Discord, which decreases your game performance. Now we're going to do the same thing with Chrome. Open Chrome, click the three dots in the right corner, open Settings. Now click on Advanced, and click System. Make sure you have Hardware Acceleration turned off. If you use a NVIDIA graphics card, these steps are for you. Open up GeForce Experience, head over to the Drivers tab, and make sure you have the latest graphics drivers installed. Next, head over to Settings and make sure the in-game overlay is turned on. Once it turns on, open the in-game overlay from the top right, and you're going to click Performance. Once you're in this menu, enable Automatic Tuning. This setting applies an automatic overclock to your GPU, making it work harder, giving you more FPS in-game. So the scan finished running, and it looks like it got an 84 MHz overclock, which is pretty much just free performance, so that's cool. Next, right-click on your desktop and open up NVIDIA Control Panel. Make sure you're on the Manage 3D Settings page, click Program Settings, and make sure you have Fortnite selected in this tab. Here are the settings that I changed. Turn Low Latency Mode on to Ultra, turn Power Management Mode on to Prefer Maximum Performance, and turn Texture Filtering Quality on to High Performance. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope it helped you out. If it did, like the video, subscribe if you're new, and use code ZULUSHI in the item shop to support me. Peace.